So earlier today, uh, we dropped a video on two Raven signings, but it wasn't the one signing that everybody has been waiting on. Uh, we've been hearing different reports, different rumors from this guy, that guy, and the third uh, about everything that has been and really hasn't been going on with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens when it's come to contract negotiations. But this morning, hey, see, this is why you got to be grateful for Ravens fans, because they will ask not questions, but the questions. And this is why we are all so grateful for Jeff Zrebig because he is the best in the business. Shout out to him. But anyway, this morning, um, Josh Rodriguez87 on Twitter, he said, hey, and he added Jeff Zrebig. Uh, and he said, not sure if you've ever answered this question, uh, but do you think the Ravens are or should wait for deals with Hurts, Jalen Hurts, uh, Justin Herbert, and Joe Burrow to get done before Lamar Jackson, assuming they get deals done this year before the draft. So that's a good question. It's a really good question um, because it's like that's what a lot of people have been thinking. Like, oh, man, the Ravens, they've been negotiating with Lamar Jackson. Lamar got his price. Ravens got their price. But they could potentially wait on the deals of Jalen Hurts, on the deals of Justin Herbert, on the deals of Joe Burrow, because, you know, all three of those guys are going to get paid from their teams. But they could wait on those deals to really see exactly where the market is after that and then be like, all right, Lamar, we'll go here. And Lamar, Lamar could be like, all right, Ravens, we can go there. So he was asking if those contracts could dictate uh, the negotiations between Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Jeff Zrebic answered. He said, I don't think they are waiting on that. The holdup is they simply haven't been able to bridge the gap between what he wants, Lamar Jackson, and what they're willing to pay. So... Jeff Zrebig acknowledging that there is a gap, and obviously there's a gap because there hasn't been no contract yet. So there's got to be a gap. So that wasn't any monumental news or anything like that, and that's all stuff that we've heard before. But even if you hadn't heard that before, the fact that there is no contract, then that means there's a gap because there hasn't been an agreement. So let's keep going uh, because UTY, um, he quote tweeted Jeff's comment, and he said, we becoming a terrible franchise, sad to say. Only team, and he put that in all caps, that's why I yelled it, only team that disrespects our superstar quarterback shaking my head. And yes, uh, a lot of Ravens fans have looked at this whole situation like, man, the Ravens are disrespecting Lamar Jackson because they just simply have not been able to get this thing done. It's been years. It's been years. But Jeff Zrebik's reply was, They've been more than willing to make him the second or third highest paid player in the NFL and give him most up front. He's entitled to say no, but we're going to have to agree to disagree about that being disrespectful. So Jeff Zrebik letting it be known like, hey, Ravens are willing to pay some, some serious money. They're willing to throw Lamar some serious cash. Like, hey, Lamar, here, come, come on, Lamar, take it and look, look. And because he talked about Lamar being the second or third highest play, paid player in the league. That's pretty up there. But I wonder if Lamar is telling him, like, that's nice, but I want to be number one. Remember that Nelly song, What Does It Take to Be Number One? That's probably what Lamar got playing in his headphones every day. Da -da -da -da. Every time he's getting ready to go to contract negotiations, got it playing. Oh, I don't know what kind of headphones he use. I don't know if he signed with, with Bose or what. Anyway, that's besides the point. So. The Ravens are willing to make him the second or highest third up, excuse me, second or third highest paid player in the league. And that is significant because that that's a lot of money. But that part, the, the next part and give him most up front. So uh, what that screams to me is giving him a lot of cash flow early on in the deal that those upfront guarantees, those upfront salaries and whatnot, the money that you get, the sign in bonus, the money that you get when that deal is first inked. That initial payout, not, it, it's not the entire thing at once, but that initial payout, Jeff Zrebic is letting it be known that the Ravens, they like, hey, Lamar, here, here, we got you. Um, but again, he said it, it, he's entitled to say no, uh, but we're going to have to agree to disagree about that being disrespectful. So, Jeff, again, letting it be known, Ravens, are, they showing him some money, but Lamar saying, hey, that's, that's not enough yet. Not enough yet, baby. Now, let's go to the last part. This one came from uh, Logic. He said, he said, this is what makes me so curious. If this is true, what is the holdup on getting the deal done? 
I would love to be a fly on the wall with these talks because he quote tweeted what Jeff talked about with uh, the Ravens being willing to make Lamar the second or third highest paid player in the league. So and he said he, he just wants to hear it. He just wants to hear the negotiation. He just wants to listen to what Lamar is saying, what the Ravens are saying, what everybody involved is saying. Because obviously we, we ain't hearing nothing. And we ain't never going to hear nothing until we get a resolution. And again, the only way, only way this can be resolved is with a contract extension or a trade. A franchise tag does not resolve this. That just prolongs it. Anyway, um, Jeff Zrebic replied. He said, fully guaranteed. So again, the question from Logic was, this is what makes me so curious. If this is true, what is the holdup on getting the deal done? Jeff Zrebic said, fully guaranteed. They haven't been willing to do that. So Jeff Zrebic, he obviously, he's the number one Ravens guy. He has cleared up something that we have heard from other people. We've heard from different reporters. We've heard on the NFL Network. We've heard on ESPN. We've heard here and there and everywhere. But I know I said it myself. Like, I, we heard it but from a lot of people, but we, we ain't really heard it from nobody on the internet. But Jeff Zrebic, you know, Jeff Zrebic, he, he don't play about his stuff, man. He don't play about his reporting um, when it comes to the Ravens. Well, really, period. He don't play about his reporting at all. But he obviously covers the Ravens. Been doing it for a very long time. So Jeff Zrebic is confirming it. He, he confirms it right here, what it is. So Lamar wants a fully guaranteed deal. <laughs> Woo! Lamar trying to get that bread, baby! Anyway, reading it again, fully guaranteed. They haven't been willing to do that. So um, with him confirming that, but him also confirming that last part, that's something that we all, we all knew that was, that was the case. We knew the Ravens don't want to give nobody no fully guaranteed deal. We knew that. And then... um. Like my guy Nitro, when, when we had him on that day, he brought out a really good point. Uh, he talked about how the, uh, the Browns, and then I know a lot of people have brought up this point too. The Browns messed everything up. They messed everything up, but he feels like they had like a little bonus incentive to do the Deshaun Watson deal the way that they did it just to mess up with the Ravens. Just to mess the Ravens up with Lamar, I mean, excuse me. Uh, because... Against the Browns, especially. I mean, against really a lot of them, except the Steelers. They ain't really played it much against the Steelers, but against the Browns, especially, Lamar has been a thorn in their side. And I mean, the Ravens have just been a thorn in the Browns' side uh, for a while, but especially with Lamar. So it's like, man, if if you can't beat him, then try to get him to join somebody else. And NFL is a nasty business. It's a very nasty business. And people and teams and franchises, they are all trying to one-up each other. But within the division, that's your first goal. Your first goal of the season is to win your division. So how can you help yourself win a division? Well, <laughs> by taking your opponents out and not just on the football field. So with the Browns giving Deshaun Watson that fully guaranteed contract, fully guaranteed, man, um, that puts pressure on the Ravens. It puts pressure on Lamar to try to get that for himself, especially because Brown, Browns know. Like, everybody knew, and, and I still question it to this day. But now saying stuff like this out loud, it makes it make more sense because I question it from when it happened. And then even to this day, like, how could you give somebody with all those allegations and all that, how could you give that person a fully guaranteed contract? But the Browns did it. But now when you really think about it, like, they knew the, the, the impact that this would have on the NFL. And yeah, Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray, they got their contracts after uh, Deshaun Watson, but not Lamar Jackson. And Russell Wilson is older. Uh, Kyler Murray is, well, he's about the same age. I don't, I don't know how old or younger he is than Lamar. But Lamar is obviously not more accomplished than Russell Wilson. But Russell Wilson is an older guy. He got a couple more years, he'll be out of here. Uh, well, unless he just decided to play forever like Brady. Uh, but Kyler Murray, he's cool, but he ain't accomplished as much as Lamar. Um, so the Browns could look at that and like, ah, we know that Lamar, he, he's going to want this money. He's going to see this and he's going to want this money because of the way the, that the market works is next man up, next man up. And they usually top the previous guy, but the Browns probably knew they're like, oh yeah, Lamar going to want fully guaranteed. Let, let's do it. But, but we know Bashadi, we know he ain't going to want to pay nobody fully guaranteed. I know Lamar Jackson. Oh no. So the, what the Browns are doing or what they did it's helping get Lamar off the Ravens. Will it help enough? Won't know till we know. 
won't know till we know. But again, it does put a lot, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure um, on both sides, Lamar and the Ravens. Um, and now, like, because I, I, I don't see the Ravens budging on a fully guaranteed deal. I don't, I don't, I don't see them budging on wanting to give him a fully guaranteed deal. Um, and Lamar, if he ain't budged this long, he may not budge on getting a fully guaranteed deal. So now, um, we just gotta wait. I mean, we've been waiting, but we just just gotta wait. Uh, with the franchise tag, they could go that route. Um, I, I don't think that this report. Uh, it gives anybody any more hope that the Ravens will get this deal done with Lamar Jackson. I think, if anything, it creates less hope um, in people that the deal will get done. Um, but, I mean, things can change. Things can happen. People can cave, whether it's one side or another. People can, um, what's the word I'm looking for in negotiations? When you um, not settle, but uh, I cannot think of the word right now. Where you sort of like give in. Um, compromise There we go Compromise Thank you Oh my goodness Because I, I was thinking We were going to get off the video We are going to finish recording And then boom I knew it was going to come to me then But people can compromise Again whether from the Ravens side Or whether from Lamar Jackson side uh, But We just got to wait it out And see So again Shout out to Jeff Zrebic. Um He <laughs> <he's> <laughs> Thank you for providing us With the update Thank you for always Providing us with updates but especially about this one. So, like a lot of us are hoping he won't be. Like a lot of us are wishing that it doesn't happen. But just like a real possibility, it does. Just like Lamar Jackson could be when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens. If things go south with the contract negotiations, I'm out. <laughs>